Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here in Erlingrat. Contract on field 4 is finished and the helper H will be, or helper whoever, I think it's helper H actually, is it? Helper someone. They'll be finished in just a moment as well, they'll be finished all of their work, there won't be any more work to do for them until I get them down to the next field that they need to go to. I'm going to get the um, the sugar beet dealt with next as well. There, oh, help it F this time. The sh we'll go and deal with the sugar beet next. After we've gone and got the next fertilizer job going. And then we can... Actually, I don't know what we'll do after that. We've got so many different things that we need to do. So many different tasks that we need to keep moving. I've got the sunflowers... Right, that's, that's unloaded. I'm almost certainly definitely possibly not going to need to do any extra runs with this i think we just stay here and the sunflowers will all get done so i think they will um yeah sugar beet can wait let's get this one going shall we all right we will run this one down over to field 10 now and then we'll do field 16 and then we will work our way back through the other fields after that obviously with all of this fertilizer that we've got on board it's going to be a lot easier and a lot simpler to just run from one job to the other without having to constantly go and refill so although it did cost us a fair bit of money i still genuinely believe that this was the absolute best option for us was to go and top this one up like this excuse me just want to cut in there don't mind do you i mean say if it's a problem just 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 let me know if you think it's a problem but um yeah i, I just wanted to cut cut right in there same here i just, I just want to cut right in there like that um yeah we should be able to get well excuse me quite a few of these fields actually before we need to do anything that even resembles topping up the fertilizer in here and this is going to serve us very very well i think this is going to be something that we absolutely do not regret at any point taking this on we come in here like this and we will start off by just running ourselves across the end here like this now obviously it would have been nicer if we'd had the slightly bigger fertilizer spreader but honestly i don't think it really matters at the moment and to also that bigger fertilizer spreader i'm kind of curious if a tractor like this should technically even have the power to run it um like this one yeah i could say yes but i mean the one that spreading it a full 48 meters instead of 24 meters like this does that require very much more horsepower to be able to do that or is it just clever gearing that doesn't actually require very much in the way of power to make it run i'm not sure i'm, I'm genuinely not sure about that I, I don't really know what the ins and outs of that particular little system would be but um yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to let that one carry on there now, and I do want to... You're fine, you can stay there. I do want to get you back now, and we'll go to the sugar beet, so we can get that one running. And then we can deal with something else afterwards. Uh, you know, I should probably catch that train. If I should do that in a minute. Switch to... No, I won't worry about catching the train just yet. Um, we'll switch to, like, I haven't got switch to train on at the moment. I've got that switched off. Which, weirdly, you can have different options for, like, the hired help consuming seed and things like that. Just as part of your base game, if you want, like, it, and so I can, on my Harkinstead series, the workers consume, uh, they, they pay for seed and so on. But they don't on here. That the hired help uses it out of the, the machinery that we're using. And whereas... You know, so I can have both of those settings active. But if I have the switch to trains... I change the switch to trains on or off on one series. And that is active on all of them. I can't have switch to trains on on one of them. And switch to trains off on another one. 
And it's weird. I don't know why it does that. So I can only have that as an option on, like, it, it, if I turn it on on here, then I've got to be switching to trains on all the series, which, I mean, obviously it doesn't affect the Hagenstead one, but it does affect the Estancia Lapacho one, and it's slightly frustrating because I don't always, like, most of the time I'd rather not have the switch to trains even running on that series. I'd rather have it switched off because um, every time you switch the train, the train stops moving. And on that series, I want the train just to stay continually running around the map, if at all possible. If, if we can have that happening, then yeah, that would be ideal. Um, this one here, I actually prefer to be able to switch straight to the train. And we can park a train up somewhere along a track where it's not interfering with, any, interfering with any of the stops or anything like that. And then it's there when we want to use it. And I want it to stay there as well. I don't want it to just magically start up and drive off. So the train... It, Overall, I've, I've never been particularly impressed with the train. Now, it does things that I don't want it doing, and does things how I don't want things doing, and then, of course, don't get me started on the whole, um, when the, the, the thingy, you know, the barriers lift up and down on the road. So I've been over that a few times. Right, I'll get this one back to the field with the sugar beet harvester, and then we'll have a look at emptying the sunflowers out of the combine. Uh, I think then we will look at starting another harvest job. We get another combine out from the dealership and start it running up and down in the fields so that we've got more money coming in. The more money we get coming in, the better. Quite happy to have a boatload of money. Although there is one thing that I kind of want to do before I go doing stuff like that. And that is, I kind of want to get the little Kramer back to our yard. Like, we are planning to use the Kramer. We still want to keep it. We have tasks lined up for it. So, it's not like we want to be getting rid of that tractor or anything. Because we, we, we've got work lined up for it. So, we've got to get it back to the yard. So, I think we will do that first. And, obviously, I still need to... Because the sunflowers are only on 60% at the moment. I do need to go via the fuel station and get a little bit of go-go juice for it because he is starting to get a little bit low here. And then we can get on back to the farm and because of how fast we can do stuff now with the fertilizer, I don't think that we'll even need this one coming out for doing herbicide jobs anymore. And so hopefully this is the last time we've got this painfully, painfully slow process of driving it along the road because... Yeah, I really do just kind of like a little bit of a speed boost on this. So tempting just to reset it. Reset back to the dealership, although that would empty out the tank of herbicide that we're carrying around, which is probably not in our best interest because we kind of want that to... Um, there's there's going to be a few customers that are going to need us to do some stuff with that. Contract on Field 10 is finished, which means that the job itself will be finished momentarily. And then we can move on over to field 16, it will be the field that we're moving to. So as I'm not turning left right here, I want to just move over into that. So there we go, help H complete their task. I'm going to get this one away. I'm going to do this one first. We'll come down here. We need to be turning left right here. Where's the indicator? Got an indicator. I don't actually have an indicator that's working on the tractor. But it's lighting everything else up. So we've, we've got the reflection for the indicator working. But the actual indicator itself doesn't appear to be working at all. This, this is fairly typical of an old tractor like this. The wiring is is kind of all shot and everything. Um, it, 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 just, it, it literally doesn't want to do anything at all. And I can't go and get fuel yet because I'm on negative numbers. So if I go now, let's just go to this one first. We'll take a hop, skip, and a jump up underneath that combine and take out those 7,300 litres so that we've got that one dealt with and the combine can stay running. And uh, sugar beet, we can ignore that one as well. Let's come over here like this. And then we can go and deal with... Uh, move, well, we want to move the fertilizer spinner. We've also got two jobs that we can complete there, which means that we will actually be able to go and buy a bit of fuel that we need for the Kramer. 
and then we can get that one back to the main yard. So there's a couple of birds all killed with one stone right there, nice and easy. Um, I was wondering if I should stop the combine going round and round and have it just moving straight up and down. I don't think I will. I don't think I will. I'll just bring this one down over here like this. Around there. And you can stop there like that. Okay, ideal. And you carry on doing that. Yeah, you're fine. So it's you that we want next. It looks like everything was done neat and clean down here. There's a little tiny patch just over there. I mean, we know that the job is done anyway. It's all finished. So it's not like i got to do a lot, but I will just chuck a bit there. And I'll chuck another little bit here, which is right next to that lake. So we're filling up the mountain lake with a bit of fertilizer as well, just so that, you know... We're sharing the, the fertilizer with everybody involved. And we want to go over this way. And went on this side. So what I'm going to do here is... Going to... Start that one. Oh, wait. No, not field 17. Field 16. This one. And... I will just start spreading like that. Okay, we have... I did wonder if maybe we would... It would turn around and say, no, you don't have a job on this field for some strange reason. Um, but no, we haven't had anything like that. We're going to need to move the truck out of the way as well. So we've got a couple of... We'll, we'll tidy a few of these bits of machinery away before we start any more jobs. Helper C has got an early full grain tech. I'm going to let that one fill up, I think. Right, I'll bring you out to there like that. And then I'm actually going to go back over to the other side of the field. And I'm going to start on that side to do the rest of this fertilizer job. I have 1,820 liters of fertilizer left, which is half of this one full. I mean, it's no problem really to go back to the dealership with this one and just go and get some more at any point really. Because it's, it's not exactly a job that... Um, right, I think you are a little bit too far away from that edge. Only a fraction, though. Let's see. Okay, maybe you weren't, because he's... There, like that. Right, well, if he was or he wasn't, doesn't really matter. So, I've got you. Helper G has completed their task. Oh, no, that was... Uh, there wasn't anything going on here. I'm going to have you here a second. I'm just going to do that. I'm going to move you out a little ways like this so that I can make sure I definitely get every single part of the crop. I'm going to put that onto normal hired help and you're going to start going down through there. Okay, so we've got that bit running there. And then you up through here, you're full, so you're not actually going to stop before you get to the end of the row. Oh, yes, he will. I didn't think he'd quite do that. So I'll take all 30,000 litres off of him here, and then we'll just run it to the end of the row, and we can empty that bit out. And uh, then we'll, we'll deal with the truck in a minute. We're going to take the truck back. we also got our tractor that we want to deal with. Move that back, and then eventually we will start some more harvest jobs in between all of this other stuff that we're doing. Let's get all 30,000 litres of sugar beet into there, and a little tiny bit more just to the end of the row, which is another 300 litres. Almost 400. Right. Out through the side over here. We don't need to go off anywhere else. 98% full, according to the vehicle. Is it vehicle inspector? I can't remember. Uh, the one up in the top corner. There is... I don't think that that is... I don't think that's one that is on ModHub. I thought it was, but I don't think it is, according to some comments. Um, but there is a link for it in the Discord. There's a link for our Discord in the description down below. Um, there are a range of absolutely wonderful people that look after the Discord there. Absolutely amazing people that look after the Discord. We've got uh, Jimmy J and Duck Zorley and Petro Graysmark and Feed Guy, who are the administrators for the um, server. And then we have Smoodalini, who's also 
involved yeah. with administration, but he focuses on running the multiplayer server. So the multiplayer server bit is his domain, and then the other bits are the other guy's domain, and they run our Discord server. And then there is a team of moderators as well, who I could name some moderators, but I will no doubt forget to mention some names. So rather than risk leaving some people out of a list of names, um, I won't mention the moderators by name because I really don't want to like mention some of you and then forget some of you. And because uh, I feel that kind of like that, that, that would be worse. So there are some awesome moderators on there as well. And they keep, they run a tight ship. It's very, very good because that way we don't have unpleasant people being tolerated in any way, shape or form, which means that you can go there and you can unwind and you can relax and you're not going to get chewed out for stupid little things, which does happen in some places. And I don't want that happening anywhere on um, my channel. So you can go there and you can unwind and you can have a chat and so on. And it's a lot of fun. Right. In order to be able to get stuff off of here we need to turn in job 10 and job 4 where are we field 4 we want to turn that one in i want to collect there 4000 and field 10 i want to collect that one that's 4600 collect there so we've got a couple of them here it gives me seven grand in the kitty which means that now i can actually get some fuel fill that one up with 21 euros worth of fuel which he'll probably this thing he seems to be a bit of a thirsty beast this one it does seem to be a little bit of a thirsty beast, which is surprising considering how small a tractor we've got here. But, um, oh well, there we go. Maybe he's, um, it could just have a hole in the fuel tank. I mean, he's a very, very old tractor, so that, that could also explain it. I mean, a lot of old engines, they drink a lot of oil, but maybe this one doesn't drink lots of oil. Maybe this one just drinks lots of fuel instead. Nothing would surprise me at this stage. Absolutely nothing would surprise me. We're using quite a bit of hired help. Quite a bit of hired help. I probably shouldn't drive my tractor right out into oncoming traffic like that. That's potentially something that could cause a problem. Get around here a minute. I've just dropped that one off underneath a tree right there. And this one... I'm going to go and park this one underneath this tree over here. Like that. So he's not blocking in our forage wagon. But he's out of the way. Completely and totally out of the way. So we'll uh, not go to you just yet. The combine is not even halfway full. So we can leave that one. This one is not even... Yeah, that's fine. So I want to go straight to you. And I will jump over to field 14, which is right here. Long trip, really, to get to that field. There. I'm wore out after all that. And we will start you there. Putting fertilizer onto those sunflowers. So I am overlapping a little bit on the edge of the field here, but that'll be fine. I'm also hoping that there's enough room to turn round at that top end of the field. So we'll let you carry on doing that, and then I can jump back to this one. I'm going to get this back to our yard, I think think at the moment i don't think i want to be i mean if i need to change this over i need to put seed in here or something like that we will do that at a later date i think we'll just leave it strapped to the back of the pickup for now and then any time that we do need to do a bit of herbicide spreading we've got herbicide right here loaded up and ready to go i think if i remember correctly we've got around about 500 litres of herbicide left in this tank. There about, just under, I would say, rather than over. So we've got something in the region of that, which is one full load for our herbicide sprayer, and then a little tiny extra bit. And the herbicide sprayer is full anyway. So we've got two full loads and a little tiny bit extra, which it, it's enough to do a small field. It's definitely not enough to do any of the bigger fields, but it is enough to do a small field. And I want to go in here. Of course, he does as well. Not that it really matters, because we're turning off right here. And we want to come in there. Uh, 
where the best place to put this one is. We'll stick you right back over here out of the way like that so that we can still get to the mower if we need to. So you can stop right there like that and then sunflowers. Oh. Right, well, he's just about done. Uh, you over here, 84%. Let's start you up. I'll go and unload you now. Because he's not going to get down to the other end of the field before he's emptied out. So I'm going to unload him now. And then I'll allow him to run down to the other end of the field in a minute. See, he's going to stop right there. And what I'm hoping is if I take everything he's got for a second. I'm going to go to you. I actually want to go... To this one and naturally he's done that thing that really irritates me the hired help start or stops in the field and it will leave one left just one on its own there is actually another little bit down that end as well but he has gone and left behind which I'm gonna go and get I wouldn't normally bother with that but I'm gonna go and get it this time help us see his blocked by or not what are you blocked by um who or what is blocked by an object? So I haven't got enough room to put everything into that front trailer. So we are going to need to go to the back trailer. Oh. That's what he's blocked by. He's blocked by this trailer. Let me go and move you out of the way then. I thought maybe it was the fertilizer spreader. But it's not. It's this one. Let's put you over there. And then I can go back. You're fine. I can go to you now, and then we undo that, and we get this in here. So sunflowers, they need to be taken to there. This is one that we're doing. Sunflowers take to the grain mill, which is the mill just down the road here, which isn't very far for us to have to travel. Well, actually, I suppose it is a bit of a distance for us to have to travel from the way up there. Oh. So why isn't it going anywhere? It's because the tractor's not actually turned on. You know, if, if you want the tractor to move forward, it does help if you turn the engine on first. Um, whole internal combustion engine tends to work more efficiently when it's actually internally combusting. If it's not, then it, it, it doesn't tend to work quite so well. So if we're racing down there to the grain mill, what are we getting for sunflowers from it? Okay, the grain mill is 679, whereas Felsburn is 925. So I'm thinking that probably we will want to bring the remainder of the sunflowers up and shove them into the storage right there. And then we can um, flag down a passing train and chuck them on board. Because 925 versus the 600 and something, it's going to be worth it. Like... We got 23,000 liters here. I suspect that we'll have three or 4,000 liters, which is going to be more than a thousand euros difference in the money that we will end up getting. And I think that is worth bothering with. I mean, I've said before that 500 isn't worth bothering with when we're carting large quantities of grain all over the place. Um, you know, if, if the net profit out of the, the moving it all around ends up being like 500. It's, it's not really worth it. But, I mean, this is going to end up being potentially more than a thousand euros. We will see. We will see what we get. So, I'm going to empty out the back trailer completely. Here. She's going to need to change the side that he tips. And... Right, that one's empty. It's 27% transported, it says. And then I want to go... Uh, no. There, I want to get that front one. And then I want to start... Nope. Start overloading. Okay, now keep a very close eye on this. Is that my... Eh, go, stop, right. Ooh. Six thousand euros left over six thousand euros left over uh, six thousand six thousand liters actually i could take that straight to the supermarket now that difference between those at just 50 
means a total difference of about 300. Um, but, I mean, for maximum, we want to put it on the train. If we're going to bother moving it, then we will bother moving it. And so we're going to take this to put it on the train. So we're going to run it this way, and we'll put it into the train storage over here. 6,000, we get 5... No, not 500, sorry. 4... Uh, 4... 300. 300. 300. Come on, Frith, get with the program. Uh, it's not even that, actually. It's 250. We get 250 extra by doing this. But 250 times 6 is 1,500 euros, which is quite a slice of money for the way we think we, we things around here do. The way we do things around here as well. That is that is a fair chunk of cash. So I'm quite happy to take that 1,500 extra just for the um, time of... Uh, time taken to go and put this one up on here and we need to get another combine job going i've got a fertilizer job still running let's put you into there like that tip all of that out job done right i will now you're all done so you're ready to go this one here is the one that we're going to be doing so i don't want to go into there i want to go into here like this i've got field 16 wait are you working on field 16 ah right he's saying the job is done on here unfortunately i'm not going to have enough fertilizer to actually finish this job more's the pity i'm going to get most of it but we're going to have to go and buy a bit more fertilizer so we will cash in both of these jobs ooh I might have just enough fertilizer to finish this job. Well, that's all right. Contract on field four. Oh, of course, yeah, we've already done 16. This is the new job that we're working on. So we got this 10, yeah. Look, the farmer is saying that we don't have to do this top corner up here. Ordinarily, I would go and do the top corner up here, but quite frankly... Today, I cannot be bothered to drive from there all the way down here to do five litres of fertiliser spreading there, only to drive all the way back again. I know I do have a job that's going over to field 12, um, but yeah, I'm not going to do it. So, we're going to collect field 14, because the farmer is happy with it. We pointed it out. He said, no, he doesn't want that bit done, because he had extra manure chucked on it last year anyway. Um, field 16, that one is done, and field 2 harvesting, that job is finished as well now. So, we can go back in here, we've got 11 and 12, and we've got 18 and 20, that's all needing fertilizer right there, and field 22 is also going to want fertilizer. So, we'll go to field 11 first, I think. Um, obviously, before we can do that, we need to go all the way back to the yard, and we want to buy a little bit more fertilizer. We're up to 22,000. Getting closer to being able to buy our new tractor. So, the I'm still leaning towards the Bureau. Now, there are other tractors that it would be nice to get. Um, if we could get another tractor instead of the Bureau, we've got the better road speed for moving things around on the road, which would be nice. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.